uh, we can start the session. Uh, more students are joining. Uh, so we'll be starting the session now. So uh, we have uh, two uh, panelists uh, for the day. First one is Nisha Dharmwal. She is the International Recruitment Manager, South Asia for Algoma University. Welcome, Nisha, to the session. Nisha, are you there? Hi, hi, good evening, good evening. I'm hi, just, hi. I, oh, you know, okay, no problem. So uh, the second uh, panelist for today is Neha Dikshit. She is uh, the International Student Recruitment Manager, South Asia for St. Clair College. Hi, Neha. Welcome hi, to thank you so much. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for uh, organizing this session. Pleasure to be a part of this event. Yeah, it's our pleasure. So um, students, uh, uh, these two panelists will be discussing today about the programs, different programs available and their criteria, and also you know, about the scope of studying uh, with respect to the current pandemic situation. So over to you guys, Nisha and Neha. Thank you. Hi, first of all, very good evening to all of you. Uh, thank you so much, team, for inviting us on today's webinar. And uh, we're looking forward to talk more about how we are progressing in the market, how Algoma is actually working for international students. So my name is Nisha Dalamwal. I work for Algoma University as a South Asia manager. Today, I'll be going to talk about uh, what Algoma University is offering to our international students in terms of our programs, the scholarship, and talking about our requirement. What are the career opportunities we have for undergrad and postgrad courses? So let me just quickly start my presentation. Uh, please give me a heads up if you're able to see my screen. So let me just quickly start the quick campus touring because Algoma University have a, a beautiful campus location in Northern Ontario, in Ontario province which is Susan Mary campus location. This is just a seven minutes of video and then we're going to talk about in our presentation. celebrate something special, something bigger than just you or me. Here we take a closer look at ourselves and those around us, seeing what's important, what's right. Here we can expect to meet those who think like you and those who bring something new. Here we are proudly unique. Here we honor heritage, voice ourselves, declare ourselves. Here we find meaning, accept challenges, build communities. Here we choose to be great with others who are great. Here we learn that transformation can lead to amazing things. Here we and you can be all in. Nisha? Algoma um, University. Come take a closer yes, look. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, the presentation is uh, not visible. Now I'm going to start the presentation. Okay, okay. Yeah, because that was actually a video, the one I showed you just now. Yeah, now, the, uh, what yeah. I mean is that, uh, you know, we cannot see the video. It's like a blank screen. Is it blank? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me just start the presentation. Maybe I can, you know, start the, you know, uh, video later on. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Cool. So Algoma University is one of the public leading research university in Canada, which is more than 50 years old back university. We established in 1965. Talking about Algoma ranking, we are the 71 uni ranking university based out of in Canada in Ontario province. 
Algoma have a two campuses location, talking about our main campus, which is located in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Another campus, we have a Brampton campus location. So talking about Sault Ste. Marie, it's one of the quiet and peaceful community we have, which is more than 75,000 people capacity. The best thing about studying in Susan location, because in entire Susan location, we have a two institute. One is Algoma University, another we have a Salt College. So Algoma University, which is more than 40,000 square feet is a campus we have, where we are recruiting a lot of international students from last 50 years. The best, another advantage of studying in Susan location, because we are quite close to US and Canada border. The talking about another benefits of studying in Susan location because the Canadian immigration had launched a pilot program. So rural Northern pilot program has been implemented. Those who are studying in Northern Ontario. So there are nine communities has been nominated under, under Ontario province and Susan Mary is one of them. So of course, talking about international students, they are getting the leverage and of course they are getting the better possibilities talking about our best courses we have. So talking about our Brampton campus, so Brampton is one of our satellite campus we have, which is established in 2018. So now we have expanded our Brampton campus location, which is good 30,000 square feet is a campus we have. The, be the best thing about and the beauty about studying in Brampton location, because we are quite close to Toronto, Mississauga, Scarborough. But of course, talking about an entire Brampton city, we are the only one unique university. And that's what we feel proud about that. There are a lot of private and public institute has been established, but Algoma has their own uniqueness and the bonding about the uni unity and the community. So from Brampton to Susan location via drive, good seven to nine hours, via flight, good 45 minutes. And that's something we are not that far from Brampton to Susan location. Talking about on the next slide, Susan Mary also are known as by the, by the locals because there are so much to explore in Susan location in terms of international education, getting the possibilities. And of course, there are tons of jobs opportunities we have that students can explore what we have in Susan location. As I said, we are very close to border city to the US, Michigan and Chicago and New York. We are designated international safe community. So talking about Ontario province, talking about the Northern Ontario location, there are quite peaceful community we have for international students. So on the next slide, we are talking about Susan and Mary because in Susan and Mary, as I said, we have a less population, but there are tons of opportunities we have for international students, not always talking about the education and the society of the matters, but of course, there are tons of opportunities that students can explore. So we surround by beautiful nature, mountain, Lake Superior, and the beautiful beaches we have. Not always excite to international students like places like Brampton, places like Toronto, of course, metro cities, because there are huge population we have, huge competition. But students need to understand what we have in Susan location. And that is something really exciting to our upcoming international students. Talking about Susan campus location, the best thing about studying in Susan location, because those who are students looking forward to go places in Ontario, because in Susan Mary has their own uniqueness, own beauty. Because talking about the job populations and of course talking about uh, the living cost, it's quite affordable to have. Not always really excite your students, those who are really struggling in terms of job, part-time and full-time. But the beauty about studying in Susan location, because everything is easily accessible, because we are located in downtown location. So talking about those who are students forward, looking forward to have a, like places like Walmart, grocery shop, cafe shops, of course, everything is just a 10 minutes walking distance. So that means students can save a lot of money every day, which is cost around 10 to $15. So on the next slide, we are talking about Brampton campus location. As I said, Brampton is one of our satellite campus we have, but the beauty about studying in Brampton location because we are the only one unique university, which is almost good 30,000 square feet is a campus we have. Algoma, you do offer amazing courses. So depending on whether you are from arts background, commerce, medical, non-medical, we do have a variety of the courses. The best thing about studying in Brampton location, because we have a lot of international students, we have Indian students also, and the great support by our Brampton community. Because Brampton and Susan community has almost got amazing funding and those funding they are utilizing on, that student can avail amazing scholarship. 
So on the next slide, we are talking about how international students are working on it, how we are focusing on diversifying. So we have currently more than 4,000 plus international students, those who are currently studying in Brampton and Sioux St. Mary. Talking about our Timmins campus, because in Timmins campus, we only focusing our local and Canadian students, but majorly we are focusing our international students in both the campuses. We have a more than 1,600 plus undergrad students, over the 400 plus graduate students, those who are currently studying in both the campuses. So talking about our international students, we have a more than 40% international student over the 50 different countries. So not only we are targeting our Indian student, but we have a student from Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Pakistan, student from South Korea, China, Japan, student from Germany, student from Australia, and many more different countries because we believe in diversity, because we believe in multicultural environment. So talking about how Algoma University are structures our class and schedule, because this is something very, very important to know, because as a university, what is the time schedules we have? How many days of classes we have in, in a, as a university? Because talking about different schools altogether, because students would not love to go for four to five days classes. And that's how we are encouraging our international students because we have a two to three days classes in a week. That means students having a lot of time for their activities, for their assignments, and they can allow to work part-time and full-time. So during the study, they can allow to work 20 hours per week, and during the holidays, they can work for 40 hours per week. So in, in one batch, we have 15 to 20 students where students get more personal attention, and they can interact with professors and different students. Talking about our Faculty of School of Life and Science and Engineering program, we have a maximum student, which is like 50 to 70 students, because we have more thesis, we have a practical, and this is how students are working on their skills and their experiences. Algoma University is very specialized in teaching focused undergrad university. We are offering amazing variety of the courses, which is three years bachelor degree, we have a four year bachelor degree, depending on student choice, what they are looking forward to have. So on the next slide, we are talking about uh, how we are structuring our orientation and the lectures, because Algama you do have three intakes in a year. So we have three majors intake, which is Jan, May, and September. We are still targeting, we are still accepting application for September 21. Our deadline is 15th of June. So students who are from onshore and offshore, they are still able to apply in Algama University. So this is how we are structuring, this is how focus our international students. On the next slide, we are talking about how Algoma University is different from other university. What is the unique things about that we need to consider Algoma University? Number one, we give opportunity that students can interact with professors one-on-one. -on -one. We have a more than 30 plus professors who speaks different languages, and this is something really exciting to our international students. Number two, we have a highest employment rate, which is 90% altogether. So once a student is graduate, within six months down the line, they can apply for the jobs within the campus and off campus. Number four, Algoma, you do offer amazing scholarship with the students who are applying for bachelor's and postgrad courses. We have a tons of amazing opportunity that students can secure and they can save a lot of money. So we have an amazing scholarship depending on students' grade, they can qualify accordingly. Number four, we really improve on students' academic performance because every student is not selling on the same board and they need, they require more personalized interaction and attention from the professor. Number fifth, we really help on students' rec recommendation on job application because it is very, very important to know and understand what kind of a support they are seeking from the faculty. And that's how we are encouraging our students, those who are looking forward to apply for the jobs within the campus and off campus. On the next slide, we are talking about the programs we are currently offering those who are looking forward to go for undergrad and postgrad. As I said earlier, we do have amazing courses in bachelors. So we have a faculty of school of business where we have specializations in BBA, we have accounting, economics, human resource management, and marketing. Depending on what, what background are they coming from, what programs are they looking forward to? We have a faculty of science and technology where students can able to apply for biology program. We have a general in computer science. We have an information technology, games and technology program. We have an environmental science courses. 
Nonetheless, we do offer engineering program because we articulated with Laurentian Chin University. So students need to complete first year in Algoma, rest three years they can continue in Laurentian Chin University. Because Laurentian Chin is one of the top ranking universities specialized for engineering faculty schools. On the next slide, we are talking about the arts and humanities program, because as I said, we do have an amazing and the beautiful courses where we are offering that students who can able to apply for arts and humanities. So we have in programs like English literature, history, law and justice, and many more other courses in arts and humanities. Now talking about the graduate certificate courses, Algoma University doesn't offer master degree program. However, we do have one year and two year certificate courses where students can allow to have three years open work permit, including we are offering $6,000 scholarship. Those who are looking forward to apply for two year program. So we have a faculty of school of business administration where students can apply for business program, human resource management, we have a faculty of School of Computer Science and Technology where students can able to apply for computing, IT, mobile software courses, and project management. Nonetheless, we have a faculty of School of Life and Science Environmental Program where students can looking forward to go for environment courses and health science. So depending on your interest, what courses are you looking forward to, Algoma University providing you all possibilities. So on the next slide, we are talking about undergrad research programming. So in Ontario, there are only 10 person universities are offering you undergrad research programming. Algoma University is one of them. So those are students applying for BBA, biology, computer science and engineering program. They can qualify to work on campus as a researcher or as assistants. So these are all possibilities we have that students can avail as a paid internship and they can really work on their skills and their experience. On the next slide, we're talking about the co-op. Algoma University do offer 100% guaranteed co-op, depending on which program are you considering. So we have a paid Canadian work experience where students can allow to work 35 to 40 hours per week and minimum wages starting from $14 goes up to $20. So of course, students who are applying for three years bachelor degree, we have a, we have a co-op program and students who are applying for four year bachelor degree, we have a two times co-op opportunities. So in the next slide, we're talking about, as I said, we are public university, good ranking university, because we do offer like, you know, DLI and the open work permit rights. So students need to understand private versus public university. You need to do a little bit research about how both the institutes actually are working on it. And this is something really excite once you're completing your graduation, so you can allow to work 40 hours per week within the campus and off campus. So talking about our requirements, especially students who are looking forward to apply for bachelor's courses. So minimum requirements say 60 percentage altogether. That is another key advantage because talking about other university, they might be asking certain requirements altogether. So students who are applying for bachelor's courses, they need to have 6.5, they need to have a mathematics for commerce and science background. The beauty about Algoma University, because we require minimum 60 percentage, in any of the program, we do not require mathematics except our engineering program. Our fees is quite competitive as comparison to other university. And of course, we are offering you scholarship, which is starting from 500 to $5,000. Talking about our postgrad certificate program, because our minimum requirement, those who are applying for two year program. So we required only 50 percentage. So 50 is a minimum requirement, whether you have done three years or four year bachelor degree, including if, if you have done masters, we only require in your last education, which is 50 percentage. So on the next slide, we are talking about the scholarship because this is something really, really exciting to our upcoming international student. What kind of a scholarship we are offering those who are students looking forward to apply for September and for Jan 2020. So there are certain slabs we have depending on your grades in your last education. So let's take if any students who are applying for three years and four year bachelor degree, if you have 60 to 70 percentage in your 12, you can qualify for $500 scholarship. If you have 70 to 80 percentage, you can qualify for $1,000 scholarship. If you have 80 to 90 percentage, you can qualify for $2,500 scholarship. So these are all one-time non-renewable scholarship we have. 
Nonetheless, if any students who have 90 and above with seven bands in ILTS, whether you are applying for four-year bachelor degree or three-year bachelor degree, we can offer you 5,000 every year scholarship. Keep that in mind, 5,000 every year. So imagine what you're supposed to pay for any college diploma for one year and two years. You're paying the same amount of tuition fees in public university, which is the highest ranking university. And of course, depending on for your bachelor degree, you will get 120 credits altogether and you can save a lot of money. So applying for four year bachelor degree, you can get $20,000 scholarship and you can save up to 10 lakh rupees. So this is something you need to understand what kind of a benefits we are offering to our international students. On top of it, students who are applying for post-grad certificate program, whether students who are going forward for two-year program, which is graduate certificate in project management and graduate certificate in human resource management and business management, you can avail $6,000 scholarship. So keep that in mind, if you're applying for two-year program, any of the intake, you can save up to $6,000. So in the next slide, we're talking about the value added, how much it is going to be cost while you're studying in Canada, while you're applying for any college or university level. You need to do a lot of research before you start applying and moving forward on your application. You need to understand that you have to pretty much have a good budget, which is 25,000 to 32,000 Canadian dollar, where you can easily balance your GIC, your tuition fees, accommodation, meal, health insurance, and travel. So you need to do a little understanding about how actually it is going to be cost while you're studying in any province or any city in Canada. Talking about on the next slide, cost comparison between in both the campuses, because we are talking about Algoma University, because Algoma University have a different campus uniqueness. We have an advantage and disadvantages. So of course, talking about Susan Mary, Susan Mary is quite affordable to have, whether you are getting the off campus and off campus, student can save a lot of money. So starting from your off campus accommodation, which is 400 to $600, but at the same time in Brampton, nearby your campus and the downtown location, which is starting from 1000 to 2000 Canadian dollar. So you can understand the difference between in both the campuses. Brampton is slightly expensive, but of course, if you have a family, friends and relative, you can easily balance your accommodation plans. But this is how it is going to be caused between both the campuses. Talking about on the next slide, so this is just an overall experience about myself when I was in Canada a year back. I've been to both the campuses, Susan, Mary and Brampton. Uh, so I, I find out like, you know, a couple of things in the fact about it, that why students finding a little difficulty being an international student when they're not getting any job properly, they're getting the hardest time, you know, getting the accommodation and the living costs, it's way, way expensive. But of course, students need to understand while you're applying and studying in Canada, you need to do a lot of homework. You need to do a research about proper university. So this is how we are just talking about and elaborating in both the campuses that Brampton is little expensive as comparison to North Ontario cities. But Susan Mary is quite affordable to have in terms of your accommodation, your living and food. So of course, this is what we're talking about both, both the campuses all together. On the next slide, we're talking about on-campus accommodation because Algoma, you do offer on-campus accommodation facilities, which is starting from 5,000 to 10,000 Canadian dollars. So of course, depending on how long do you want to stay in campus, so we have a different slabs, different costs altogether, whether six months and 10 months. So this is something you need to address about that. We are offering you on-campus accommodation facilities. Last but not the least, this is how it looks like a campus, one of the peaceful and beautiful campus altogether surrounded by beautiful nature and mountain. And of course, the temperature, it's pretty much same like Brampton and Toronto. So of course, students getting a lot of benefits and the support by our faculty. So of course, if you need to looking forward to go and study in Algoma University, make sure you can reach out to us, you know, you can contact to, you know, your concerned person, or you can check on the website www.algomau.ca. So thank you so much for paying attention on this presentation. This is my contact number and email ID. Whenever you want to reach out to me, you can contact or else you can contact to your, to your agent, they will support you, they will let you know what all documentation should be required. So this is all about from my side. Thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you, Nisha. Uh, thank you for that elaborate session. 
uh, we have few queries in the QA section, but uh, you know, uh, we'll uh, straightly go to Neha now. And sure. once uh, she's complete, we'll uh, address the queries. That's fine, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Neha. Yeah. Neha, uh, over to you. Uh, thank you so much. So, hi, everyone. My name is Neha, and I'm the Regional Representative South Asia for St. Clair College. Welcome, you all, in this session. I have a very brief presentation about St. Clair College, where I'll be talking about our campuses, our program offerings, the flexible admission requirements. That's why what we are famous for. And after that, we'll be glad to answer all your questions. So just allow me a moment so that I can quickly share my screen. I hope my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. So this is the aerial view of Windsor. So I must say this is one of my favorite slides in this entire presentation. Moving on with the bit history about St. Clair College. So we are established in 1967 and St. Clair College is a highly acclaimed public college. We are located in Windsor, Ontario. So we have three campuses, Windsor, Windsor Downtown and uh, Catham. So I'll be talking more about the campuses and, and the program offerings at the later part of the presentation. So as we established in 1967, so we have a long history in teaching quality. In all three campuses right now, we have 13,000 full-time students and 20,000 part-time learners who are studying 120 plus different programs, which are leading into health science, business, engineering and technology and various fields. Uh, hi Arjun, can I please request you not to draw anything during the presentation? Thank you so much, because it, is, it might distract the students who really would wish to know about the college. In terms of the scholarship and bursaries, we have the scholarship to, for our current students. So once you start your academic journey with St. Clair College, you can avail different scholarships by, by maintaining a certain average in each of the semester. So you are required to maintain the average of 2.0 GPA, which is equivalent to 70 or 75% in each of the semester. And you can avail these scholarships and bursaries. Apart from the academic scholarships, we do offer a sports-based scholarship. So if you would like to join any sports-related activities on our campus and start playing, your coach can nominate you for a sports semester scholarship and you can avail the scholarship up to 1250 Canadian dollars for each semester. In this slide, you will have an idea how far we are located from some of the major cities of Canada. So from Toronto, we are 3.5 hours ride. From Niagara, we are four hours ride. And from the capital of Canada, Ottawa, we are eight hours ride. Moving on, so this is the picture of our campus. So Windsor is our main campus and then Ketham. So the difference distance between our main campus and the Ketham camp campus and is just one hour ride. We do offer on campus residences in all of our campuses. Then Mediaplex and Zeckelman School of Business and IT, Center for the Arts and Skill Trade Regional Training Centers. These are the four faculties which are located at our downtown campus. So Windsor campus, which is a home of approximately 8,000 full-time students, and the students are mainly studying engineering related program, business development service worker related program in this campus. Apart from the academic programs, we do offer comprehensive student services for our students, starting from mentoring, then library support, healthcare support, immigration counseling, and career services, all are available for our students in the main campus. Then our downtown campus. So St. Clair was the first one to introduce a campus in downtown. And then we have expanded our footprint and introduced some of the faculties in this campus. So if you're joining our, one of the most popular program, Data Analytics for Business, you will be studying in the downtown campus. The distance between two of these campuses are just 20 minutes ride, and you can easily board the city bus from the main campus itself. So if you're staying on campus, which is, just a few minutes walk from the academic blocks at main campus, but somehow if your program is delivering in the downtown campus, so commuting would not be an issue. You do not have to look for the transportation outside the campus. Catham campus is just one hour ride from the main campus. And right now it is the home of 1300 full-time students who are studying different healthcare and nursing related programs. 
Moving on, this is one of the most important questions why the student should consider Windsor. So if I have to define the city in a sentence, I will say it's like living in a big city without the cost and traffic. And Windsor is the 16th largest cities of Canada. The total population of the city is 2,10,000 and most of the people are immigrants. It is one of the most affordable cities. So if you'll compare the living cost of Windsor with any other cities like big cities like Toronto, the average living cost is in Windsor is 11,000 Canadian dollars per year. But in Toronto, it is going up to 16 to 17,000 Canadian dollars a year. Also, the benefit of the city because Windsor Essex County is also known as the automobile hub because all three big automa automakers like General Motors, Fiat, they have their headquarters in Windsor Essex County. That's why uh, some of our programs related to mechanical engineering, power engineering technology have a best placement ever. So the employment rate is going up to 90 to 92%. And also we are offering many internship and co-op opportunities under these programs. In terms of the weather conditions, as we are situated at the most Southern part of the country. So we really enjoy a long summer. The temperature is going up to plus 24 and, and plus 25 and the warmest winter where the temperature is going down by plus five or plus six, because when we are talking about Canada, which is famous for the extreme weather condition, but this is not the case with Windsor because of the location. And of course, the part-time job opportunities because being an international student, you, should, you would like to work in the city. So there are plenty of job opportunities in the city. Once you arrive at the city, you can get in touch with our immigration counselor. First, to know about the rules where all you can work and how many hours you're allowed to work. And once you have all the documents ready, you can look for the opportunities by seeking the help of our current student where they are working right now. So most of our students are working with the different stores like McDonald's and some supermarkets. And few of them are working on campus as well. So whenever we have an opening on campus, we do inform you. So you might be working with a professor and helping them in a research work, or you might be working in the international department. Now, why the student should consider St. Clair College? So apart from the comfortable climate and safe uh, community services, of course, we do share the international border with the US. So this is the main advantage. You'll be staying in Canada, but the international border of the US is just five or 10 minutes ride from the campus. So you'll be staying in on campus residences and you can actually see the border from, the, from your window. We do share the border with uh, Detroit, and in fact, Detroit and Windsor are known as the twin cities because you will meet many people who are staying in Windsor, but they're working in Detroit. Both the cities are connected through a bridge called Ambassador Bridge. So that creates a lot of economic activities between two of these city. In fact, Canada is Michigan's most important trading partners. So in terms of the economy of this province and the job opportunities, it are it, the, the city has numerous job opportunities for each of the students. In terms of the safety, so Windsor is one of the most safest place to live. Uh, if you talk about the violent crime rate, it is below average. It's a very student and very welcoming city. Just give me a second. So in terms of the program offerings, we have a great choices. In terms of the program, we have programs for each and every background student. Being if you're an arts background student, science, medical, non-medical, or commerce, we have 125 plus different programs to offer. We do offer a bachelor's degree. We are offering two years undergraduate diplomas, three years uh, advanced diploma programs, and graduate certificate programs. This is the kind of rating we are constantly receiving from the employers where our students are working after completion of their academic. So in terms of the employability, eight out of our 10 graduates are getting the job within six months of graduation. And this rating shows how happy our employers are while they are hiring our current students. The reason being why we do have the uh, higher employer satisfaction rate, because we do include internship co-ops and some kind of a project with each of the programs that gives you the opportunity to gain some kind of a professional experience during your program. 
Talking more about the program offerings, so as I mentioned, we have 120 plus program and these are our two new, new degree programs. So the first one is Honors Bachelors of Business Administration, Information Communication Technology. So as the name itself says, it is not just a business program, it's a combination of business as well as information technology. Because nowadays when you talk to an employer, they look for the professional who can multitask who are not only well-versed with economics, finance, marketing, and accounting, they should have some kind of a technical skills. So by keeping this feedback in our mind, we designed this program, which is a four-year undergraduate program. And this program also includes a 14 weeks paid internship. So you can go for this internship after completion of year third to gain some industrial experience. And our career service itself makes sure that every student gets into this internship. It's a part of your program. So in order to complete this BBA program, you are required to attend this 14 weeks paid internship. Our next program, again, a four-year undergraduate degree in applied <coughs> arts and social justice and legal studies, which is a quite good program for arts background student, or if you are uh, planning to become a lawyer, then this is the right program for you because as you can see the program structure, this program has criminology, sociology, and Canadian law as a component. Also with 14 weeks mandatory internship in this program. So as I mentioned earlier, with each of the program, you will have the opportunity to work so that you can get or you can utilize whatever knowledge you'll be acquiring in the year one and year two, and you can practically use them. These two programs are open for September 2021. And if you're a student who are still studying in grade 12, do not have your final scores, do not worry. We'll have you covered because we are also aware about the current scenario. So you can apply on the basis of your predictive scores. And if your English language proficiency score is pending, you can still apply to these programs. Right now we are offering $3,000 Canadian dollars scholarship with our BBA program. So the tuition fee for BBA is $20,000 Canadian dollars, but as you can avail $3,000 Canadian dollars scholarship. So the tuition amount is going down to $17,000 Canadian dollars. Also with these two programs, we are offering an application fee waiver. So there is no application fee to apply to these programs. These are the some other faculties we have on our campus. So we have School of Business, Community Studies, Engineering Technology, Health Science, Nursing, Media Arts and Design and Skill Trades. And these are some of our popular program. The entire list of our program offerings are available on our website, which is centclaircollege.ca because it was not possible to uh, list down all 125 plus programs. So feel free to visit our website to know all about our program offerings. Currently, we are accepting the application for September 2021, and it will remain open until 20th of June. After 20th of June, we'll be start accepting the application for January 2022. Moving on, talking about our graduate level programs, it means postgraduate level. So we have these graduate certificate programs. If you are an applicant who wish to make your career in digital marketing, you can go to our web and interactive advertising program, which is a one year graduate certificate. For if you are an applicant who are from a healthcare background, or you, if you have done MBBS or early childhood or child and youth care, you can go to our autism and behavioral science program. Construction project management program is open for architect background student or interior design background student. And if you have done your diploma or degree in information technology in bachelors, you can go to our data analytics for business or for our all business background student, they can join international business management and logistics system. This is the minimum requirements for all our programs. So for our undergraduate diploma and advanced diploma, we are looking for grade 12 with 50% and above. For our degree programs for BBA and Bachelor of Applied Arts, grade 12 maths is not the mandatory requirement. So if you're planning to pursue your Bachelor's of Business Administration from Canada, I'm sure that you will face this problem if you do not have maths in grade 12 because majority of the Canadian universities or institutions are for grade 12 maths, but we don't. So if you do not have grade 12 maths, you can still apply to our BBA program on the basis of your grade 10th maths. And the kind of a scores we are looking for in grade 10th maths. So if it is 30 or 35%, your profile is completely acceptable. For our graduate certificate program, if you do not have your final year degree as of now, you can still apply for the conditional on the basis of your, uh, uh, your predictive certificate as of now. 
and later whenever you will get your final degree you can submit it our english language proficiency score requirement so TOEFL IBT with 78 IELTS with overall six bands no band under 5.5 Duolingo with 100 and PT with 51 for all of our programs so the requirements for english language proficiency are same for our undergraduate program and graduate level programs we do have on campus residences on our main campus and Catham campus so in fact from fall 2021 we have a new residence at our main campus so now it's two residences once you're fully accepted at St. Clair College and you are ready to travel after this travel restriction and you have a valid study permit, you can book your on-campus residences and join the face-to-face -face classes. But meanwhile, when you cannot travel to Canada because of the border, border closure or you do not have your study permit, if you're planning to join September 2021 intake, uh, you are allowed to attend your classes online until and unless you do not have your study permit and the border will remain closed. But once you have your visa, and you wish to travel to Canada, even you can travel in between the semester. In the second scenario, where you start your online classes and you do not have your visa, but unfortunately you started your program and in between the semester, you get your visa rejection. So do not worry about it because we have a very flexible refund policy. So according to our refund policy, the students who are starting their online classes, if any stage of the program they receive visa rejection, you're eligible to get full refund. You just need to provide us the visa refusal letter, which you will get from IRCC, and we'll process your refund. We do have lifelong learning at St. Clair. So if you are joining us for any undergraduate diploma or advanced diploma, but in any point in time during the program, if you think that you need to complete your degree, we have a collaboration with these two, these institutions in Canada and the US. So for example, if you're joining us for your three years, diploma in interior designing, but if you are in, interested to complete your bachelor's, so you can spend three years in, at St. Clair completing your advanced diploma in interior designing. And then for the fourth year, you can go to Wayne State University to complete one year program and you will get bachelor's of fine arts. So that's how these collaborations works. You do not have to reapply to these universities because we already have an MOU signed with them. So you can just complete your relevant diploma and advanced diploma and continue your bachelor's degree. Apart from the academic services, we have these comprehensive services on each of our campuses. So for example, career services help you to find out the job part-time on campus, off campus. And once you're done with your academic and you're ready to apply for the jobs, how to make your resume, what to mention or what not to mention in your profile. Uh, apart from these services, we do organize career fairs twice in a year on the campus where all the students can participate and build the employer network. We do organize a few employer events where you have the opportunity to share your profile with the different employers. I talked about the uh, sports-based scholarship. So this is the details about it. We have these variety of sports available for you on our campus. Once you arrive at the campus and if you're interested in these extracurricular activities, Start playing on campus, and if you are really good in that, your coach can nominate you for these various scholarships. Talking about the multiculturalism, so we have the students from 100 plus different countries, so you can imagine the kind of a diversity and multiculturalism we have on our campus. And throughout the year, we do organize such activities where you get the option to represent and talk about your region and culture. And the same goes for you also. You will also get the opportunity to learn about the other culture or other countries. So this is the beauty of the campus when you are staying in one campus or one country, but you are getting the opportunity to learn about the entire world. So that's all about St. Clair College. This is my email address. So feel free to get in touch with me if you have any question. Of course, we'll be answering some of your questions right now, but in future, of course, if you need any help or any assistance, feel free to get in touch or otherwise you can anytime talk to our cons your concern counselor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Neha, for that uh, wonderful session. Um, we have a couple of queries. I think uh, Nisha have already uh, addressed uh, the queries to chat itself. And uh, there are many questions uh, related to uh, the courses. I think already uh, both of them have addressed. and. Uh, a quick question uh, to uh, Neha. 
Minu is asking uh, the scope about autism and behavioral science in St. Clair's. The program, is it applicable in St. Clair? Yes, so it's a one-year program and it's open for the students who have done their healthcare-related program earlier or MBBS in child and youth care. So basically, this program is related to a study of autism, like as a disease, what it covers, what are the symptoms, and it also talks about how to cure it. So in this one-year program, we are giving this opportunity to have two projects in between. So it is not only based on the theoretical part, but the students will be making two projects. One is first semester and the second one in the second semester that gives them a practical experience. After completion of this program, the student can expect great careers as an instructor, therapist, existing community agencies, school boards, government funded autism program with private providers and home programs. So these kind of a career opportunities one can expect. Okay, thank you. And uh, somebody is asking, like, you know, uh, you know, they have if they have a gap, uh, you know, after their studies, like, you know, how long is it acceptable in Canada? Like a generic question. So, so if it is a generic question, I will say uh, it depending on the institution. So I cannot, of course, comment about the other institution because some of them have the rule of like four years, five years, or maybe more than that. But with St. Clair, that is not an issue. So we do not have any restrictions as such in accepting the profile with backlogs or in terms of the gap year. So there is no restriction. Also, we do accept open schooling because as I mentioned earlier, St. Clair is popular for the flexible admission requirement. So gap year does not matter. We even do not, do not need the gap justification letter. Backlog does not matter. So even if it is like 30 plus backlog, we can accept the profile if the student is meeting the admission requirements. Open schooling is not a problem if the institution is affiliated with UGC or AICT. So all of the, these things are acceptable at St. Clair. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of questions coming in the chat regarding the programs. Um, we'll address a few more questions and then, you know, I think, you know, uh, all the students, you know, you can address uh, your queries straight to us. Uh, you can call a counselor. We are happy to address it. And, you know, then we can take it forward. Um, Nisha, one uh, uh, Neha, sorry, Neha, one last question. Uh, so, Ritesh is asking about how easy is it to get uh, conspection management codes? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with for all our graduate certificate program, including a construction project management program, if you have a similar academic background, so suppose for construction project management, if you have done your bachelor's in construction, architecture, or interior designing, then you have the suitable profile for the program. So what we are looking for, we are looking for the similar academic background, but if you do not have the similar academic background, if you have done your bachelor's in any other field apart from construction or architect, then we are looking for some work experience in the similar field. The reason why we are looking for these kind of a profile, so once you join our program, you will not find any difficulty in understanding it. Because when you have a similar background, it will be much easier for you to gain more experience or about the program and work potentially in, in, in these fields, because these are the, one of the most recognized programs we have. So as I mentioned, if you have your bachelor's in these three fields, you're good to go for the program. Okay. Uh, this is like a common uh, question uh, regarding uh, IELTS or uh, any language requirement, you know, due to this current pandemic, you know, most of the students are not able to get the dates to take the IELTS or, you know, to appear for the exam. So is it like, you know, what, what is the option for them, you know, uh, you know, if they cannot take the date or appear for the language test? That is not a problem with us. So even we have a provision for the conditional acceptance. So first you can apply for a conditional acceptance and submit your IELTS later, or you can appear for Duolingo because you will get the result while sitting at your home within 48 hours. And it is again valid for two years. If you do not give like IELTS, if you're not interested because it is not acceptable for visa, if you wish to wait for your IELTS, then of course you can apply without IELTS as of now and try to appear because now everything is opening up so you can book the slot and submit your IELTS later. The second option is if you're a student who have already given your IELTS, but you're waiting for your TRF, but you do not have one because of the this travel, uh, this restriction in the country, you're allowed to submit your online results also. So if you have given your IELTS through British Council, they 
they do not provide basically the electronic result. They will just give you the credential of their portal and the screenshot of your result, which are completely acceptable. In case of IDP, so if you have given your uh, exam through IDP, they do give you electronic result, which you can submit to St. Clair to secure your admissions. Okay. Thank you, uh, Neha. And uh, I think Nisha have already answered uh, the uh, all the queries, all knows the queries in the chat. So yeah, I don't want to repeat. In between, yeah. you just are uh, replying all the students' query. Here. Yeah, yeah. That that you you made uh, our work easy. Thank you so much. Yes. So uh, any other queries, any specific queries related to your college institutions? Uh, you know, we can address it later. I mean, you know, uh, the students can directly contact us, and you know, we can address you and take it further. So I would like to thank uh, both of you for that elaborate uh, and uh, informative session. And uh, you know, on behalf of Flywood, uh, we would like to thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to say thank a few things for joining us. And yeah. thank you. Uh, students, um, what you can do is you can just send your queries, uh, whatever uh, pending things you have, any queries you can ask us. Um, what you can do is, uh, you know, uh, they are the international recruiters, uh, uh, South Asian recruiters. So, uh, unfortunately, they are not uh, uh, Malayalam speaking people. So, what you can do is, in the queries, you can address to us, to our counselors. So, they'll be uh, ready to help you, and you know, we can take it further. So, uh, I'm the number already chatted on the and uh, um, you know, the ID is also there, email ID on the. So what you can do is you can send all your queries and we will be, uh, you know, happy to address it and uh, uh, we can take it further. Once again, thank you all for coming and joining uh, and, uh, you know, uh, attending this session. So we are looking forward to hear from you. Thank you so much. Have a good night.